if you are a spiritual seeker, and especially if you're a long time seeker, and your goal is self-realization or enlightenment or whatever term you want to give to that, it's really important to recognize tripping points or obstacles that can really hold you back and can keep you in the seeking game. One of those things is believing that a negative thought or a negative mood or feeling is an indicator that you're a long way from attaining the goal of self-realization. Because none of that is true. Even with an enlightened master or a self-realized being or a saint or whatever term you want to give to that, thoughts come and go. They arise and subside. And the same with feelings and emotions. There's movement, there's flux. That is the nature of the way the mind works and the way emotions arise and subside. They happen of their own accord, but they really do not determine your authentic state of being. They're not markers. If a negative thought arises, it doesn't mean that you are a long way from self-recognition or enlightenment. And this belief can be so um, entrenched in the minds of spiritual seekers. They keep thinking that if they have a negative thought or a negative feeling arises that they have to do more practices or they have to go on yet another retreat to try and purify the mind. And the only difference between a spiritual seeker and enlightened being is that the enlightened being does not identify with a thought, a negative thought or a positive thought even. They just watch this movement and they don't identify with it. So don't fall into the trap of thinking that the quality of your thoughts uh, means that you've got a lot of work to do or that you're a long way from attaining the self because that belief, that idea is not true. You are already the self. The self is your authentic nature. It is here and has always been here and will always be here. It is here before the story, before the idea and identification with, you know, your, your personal story. And it will always be here. It's here if you're having a shitty day. It's here if something, you know, negative happens. It's here if you're not feeling well. And the self never comes and goes, no matter what is happening. So I just wanted to hop on here today to say this because I know I've worked with quite a few people that got stuck in that idea that their, their thoughts and their moods and feelings determine where they're at in terms of their spiritual journey. And um, all of that isn't real, that's just part of the story. The truth of who you are is the self and it will always be the self and um, the self is is what remains the self doesn't come and go the self is not altered in any way by what is happening or what is not happening so i wanted to share that today and um, to encourage you not to buy into the idea that your your thoughts determine let's say the quality of who you are or where you are in terms of um, self-recognition because they don't, they, they're, they're not markers in any way. Okay, so that's my hop on for today. I hope all is well. 
Be well, take it easy and bye for now.